Hello, everybody. Hi. 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 It's, Hi. Wednesday. it's Wednesday today. Me and my peanut head are here. <laughs> it's weird looking, right? Oh, looks fine. Yeah. Th these things are going way back further every time I get a haircut. <laughs> like... Anyway, uh, I'm Boris. Meat Sandwich is here. Hey. We got the Boris and Robin show starting in just a little bit. And uh, this morning, the Battle of the Best continues. We've got two more categories that we need nominations for to get these ballots all set up. We're looking for uh, the best taco. Yep. And the best ice cream. Yes. All right. So uh, now taco we did last year. And right. There are uh, some great uh, taco places throughout the Hudson Valley here. Yeah, very much. Uh, we also did ice cream last year, too. And that's the one category that uh, Ro Robin wanted to put on the chopping block this year. She wanted to get rid of ice cream. <laughs> Not because she doesn't love ice cream, but because we do this thing in January. And it's like and there's no ice cream being sold. <laughs> it's like freezing yeah. temperatures outside. It's not really top of mind. Yeah. I love doing the ice cream category because uh, it makes me think of summer. Right. And I get excited about uh, the fact that uh, it will eventually come back. So... Uh, let us know your favorite uh, ice cream place here in the Hudson Valley. And we were talking about this uh, off the air yesterday after the show, but uh, really, there's no bad ice cream place. Oh, no, absolutely not. Your favorite ice cream place is the one that's closest to you. <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah, I mean, if, if it's a place and they have ice cream and you can go there and eat it, it's pretty much your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but there are some of these places that do elevate ice cream just a little bit. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, Holy Cow up in uh, Red Hook. We always get lots of votes for them. Yes, every they're, year they're pretty big. Well, they have that something special with their with their very own like homemade whipped cream. If you're, they have like Ooh. it's like a little little thing that comes out, and that whipped cream. There's something about okay. that whipped cream. It's probably ter terrible for you, but it's so good, <laughs> so good. Nice. Like I, I would just go there and order a bowl of whipped cream. That's how good it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Richie says the Jolly Cow in Lake Katrine. Mm, all right, Mikey's, uh, Mikey's a, a holy cow guy. Yeah, or Mikey or Mickey. I think it's Mickey. He's uh, he's agreeing with me on holy cow. Uh, June says the uh, Village Creamery in Wappingers Falls. Oh, actually, that's really good. Yeah. Oh, I'm a big fan of the uh, Village Creamery. Their their uh, shakes are so okay, so good. Oh, you haven't had their shakes? I've not. What do what do you get at the Village Creamery? Yeah, ice cream. <laughs> right. uh, their shakes are great. They're really thick though. So what I do actually in the summertime is I uh, buy a package of really big straws. And I keep them in the glove compartment of my car. Okay. So, just just for their shake? And what we get out of the car, me and my son, we both grab a straw. We walk up to the place. <laughs> because they have the tiny little straws. Right. It's you not can, good enough. You just sit there for an hour trying to, trying to drink one of those shakes, waiting for it to melt. You need the big straw. Big straw. All right. So, anyway. We take ice cream very seriously, as you can tell. Yeah. So we'll take more of your nominations throughout the morning. Also, don't forget about the tacos, too. We'll be talking about that. All right. Uh, so we got that going on. Also, in the studio with us this morning, Frank Duncan. Yeah. Uh, we talked to him a couple of weeks ago when he was just a mortal man. Right. Now he's the world record holder. Yes. Now he is uh, immortal uh, in the Guinness Book of World Records for uh, going the, doing the, the speed bag. For two days. We look like the Bee Gees, actually, more than... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, yeah, two days. Two days he'd been, uh, he was uh, doing that speed bag, and apparently he had, like, flu conditions. Like, really? Like, he was sick. Like, he was sick while Yeah. And he still beat this world record, like, hands down, so... Uh, we're going to talk to him about this uh, incredible feat. Man. When he was on the show, were you guys sick? Was that when you guys were sick? Yes. But it was, it was, we did not have the flu. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it was like two uh, weeks before he even tried, attempted this thing. So we did uh, not, we did not get him sick. And Robin, even if we did, he still won. I was say, Robin might have gotten him sick. Uh, Robin could have. It's very, it's very possible. All right. That was the first thing she was worried about. A lot of people writing in. Uh, utterly delicious in Pleasant Valley. I've never heard of them. Have you ever been utterly delicious? No. Uh, oh, Blueberry Mountain. I know Blueberry Mountain very well. Good stuff uh, over in Middletown. Um, Eric's his best radio station. Well, we, don't, we wouldn't want to put that up to a vote. <laughs> yeah. We would lose. Uh, let's see. Fred, chocolate fudge brownie. Well, I mean, yeah, that's good ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. It's not really the, the name of a place, I don't think. Uh, all right. So keep them coming. Keep the thumbs. I like. We love the thumbs. Yeah. When they, uh, when they float across, Ooh, that means you like us. We're well, validated. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, also this morning, we're going to play another round of You Be a Doobie. Yep. Uh, where we get you guys to uh, sing the end of the uh, Doobie Brothers line. Oh, look, here comes all the thumbs now. Oh, man, they're all coming. Now that we've asked for it. <laughs> Pandering for thumbs. 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, the, you'll win uh, tickets to see the Doobie Brothers and Chicago up at Bethel Woods. Speaking of Bethel Woods, we've got another season pass to give away this morning. Yeah. Somebody who listens to the show and answers our listener of the day question, which will be something we referred to earlier in the show, uh, is going to get qualified for the season pass. <gasps> Ooh, you got a little heart going by. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch him. Catch them all. All right. Uh... What else? Is that it? Oh, Robin's going to do her Lost Treasure. Oh, yeah. So she'll, we'll, we'll let her uh, take over the show for a little bit and play a song for you guys. And uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. So should be a good morning. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to listen to the show. Yeah. And that's... That was spontaneous. Boom. See ya.